Welcome, Starnet version 12. This is truly exciting. We've done a lot of work with Starnet over the years. Let's take a trip down memory lane. I'm only going to mention the highlights here so we don't need to spend all day together. The year was 2010, microsurvey's first release of Starnet after the acquisition of Star Plus. This release was where we made version six our own. 2011, version seven. We introduced the integrated data editor. This is a dynamic interface where text inputs are identified and displayed according to what they represent. We also introduced background imagery in the plot window and a few converters, microsurvey field genius, Trimble job XML and Leica DBX. 2014 version eight, we introduced our coordinate system library that greatly expanded the capabilities and a valuable time-saving tool to identify points of similar coordinates but different names, cluster detection. 2017, version 9, the move to 64-bit architecture. We brought many quality-of-life features to the editor, including inline error messages, help tips, find tips, auto-completion, and column editing. We also brought StarNet Ultimate, where we introduced the command line and increased the maximum number of stations from 10,000 to 65,000. 2020, version 10. We took the network plot and now we made it 3D so you can rotate and check for vertical anomalies in your data quickly and easily. But that was overshadowed by the auto adjust function. Auto adjust will iterate through your data and generate a list of the highest standard errors in your project to get you on the right track to completing your adjustment quickly. We also introduced the side shot detection. Two thousand twenty one, version eleven. New floating network licensing and the Trimble data exchange format converter. So Version 12, it's here. We've invested a decade of new feature development into Starnet, and for this release, we took a step back and reassessed how we process and calculate the adjustments with all of these new variables. We've reworked our algorithm and have modified how we handle slide shots with no change to you, the user. We made the plot window faster and smoother for zooming and panning, and we improved how we compute coordinate system transformations. These all come together to bring a significant reduction in the time required to compute your adjustments as shown here. Did you even see Starnet 12 run? That's how quick it is. But wait, there's more. <laughs> all converters are now included with all editions of Starnet and licensed directly through Starnet. We want your life to be easy and Starnet to just work. This really simplifies your experience and makes life easier for you. Now, for my personal favorite part, we made an adjustment to how file management works when using the converters. When you select an input file, the output data file name is populated with the same name as the input file and placed in the same file path that your current Starnet project is saved in. When you close the converter, the created DAT file is added to the current project. I really appreciate this change and I think you will too. Let's watch that again with the Leica DBX import. Here's that directory showing those two created DAT files in the same location as my current Starnet project. I didn't have to do anything. It just works. If you currently use Starnet, download the latest update in the help menu through check for updates. If you don't use Starnet and you'd like to see what all the hype is about and give us a try, please contact us through our website, phone, or email as shown here. Thank you for watching. And this is Starnet 12.